Have you ever considered eating just one meal a day? Not because you're lazy, not because you're broke, but because science. Welcome to the video. Oh mad, what eating one meal a day does to your body. Sounds insane, right? Fasting for 23 hours and squeezing all your calories into a single hour? But before you judge, know this. It's not a TikTok trend or a crash diet. It's how our ancestors survived for millions of years. They ate when they hunted something and fasted when the hunt failed. In this video, you'll be taken on a journey through hormone hijinks, insulin management like a boss, and fat burning that doesn't ask for permission. We'll explore how proper fasting can increase mitochondria, repair your cells, boost your mood, and maybe even make you forget you're hungry. Think you're in control eating three meals a day. Just wait till you fast for 23 hours and discover. Your body is a biological genius if only you stop snacking every two hours. Stick around till the end of the video to learn not just how to burn fat, but how to burn away all your old beliefs about hunger, insulin, and energy itself. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Would you dare try OMAD for seven days? Think our ancestors had a neat schedule of breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, like modern nutrition books suggest? Not even close. Our hunter-gatherer ancestors ate whenever they caught something or didn't eat at all. One day it might be a full deer. The next, just some bitter roots and disappointment. For the most part, they fasted. OMAD eating just once a day isn't some trendy diet. It's actually a return to our biological roots. You see, every time you eat, your insulin spikes, signaling your body to store fat immediately. It's like yelling, hey, we've got extra. Put it in storage. Now imagine doing that five, six times a day. Your insulin never gets a break. Your body stays stuck in fat storage mode all day, every day. But when you eat only once a day, insulin spikes just once, then drops for the remaining 23 hours. This long break allows your body to shift from store mode to burn mode, entering ketosis, where your liver transforms fat into ketones, a cleaner fuel for your brain and muscles. The magic? The hungrier you are, the sharper you become. Because in evolutionary terms, hunger meant go hunt. Your brain releases norepinephrine and dopamine to boost focus and alertness. Hunger doesn't weaken you, it makes you strategically dangerous. OMAD is not deprivation. It's a primal reboot in a world full of overflowing fridges and food delivery apps. If you think eating one meal a day is just about skipping breakfast and lunch, you're seriously underestimating your body's intelligence. Because OMAD isn't just a diet, it's a silent revolution happening at the cellular level. When you eat all day long, morning bread, mid-morning milk, coffee, lunch combo, afternoon bubble tea, evening hot pot, Every bite is like insulin tapping you on the shoulder and whispering, time to store fat, sweetheart. But with OMAD, you eat once and insulin? It gets the day off. 1. Deep and sustained insulin drop. Lighting the fat-burning fire. Every time you eat, your body releases insulin, the hormone that manages your energy. But if you're eating all day, insulin never rests. And high insulin equals fat storage mode. OMAD triggers just one insulin spike per day, then lets it go chill. For the remaining 23 hours, your body isn't locked down by insulin anymore, it's free to burn fat. This isn't magic, it's basic biology. 2. Switching to fat mode. Welcome to ketosis. About 12-16 hours after your last meal, your body runs out of glucose and glycogen. That's when your body says, all right, fuel's out, time to use the reserves. Ketones, made from fat, begin to rise. These clean fuels energize your brain and muscles. And your brain loves ketones. They're clearer, calmer, and less inflammatory than sugar. People often describe this moment as, it's like someone took the fog filter off my brain for the first time in years. 3. Fat is no longer the enemy. It's your strategic energy reserve. We've been taught to hate fat. But the truth is, Fat is the body's best energy bank. While glycogen holds only about 2,000 calories, your fat stores, even if you're lean, can carry 100,000 plus calories. 
OMAD forces your body to tap into that vault. It's no longer depending on your next snack, it's using what's already there. 4. Stable blood sugar. No more roller coaster. People who eat five times a day are like driving on a bumpy road, insulin spikes, blood sugar crashes, irritability, hunger. Repeat. OMAD turns that into a gentle hill, one controlled glucose rise, then a smooth, steady ride down. You no longer need food to stabilize your mood because your mood is already stable. 5. Metabolic flexibility. Your body learns to adapt. A hybrid car can switch between gas and electric. Your body, when trained, can switch between burning sugar and fat. OMAD is like a metabolic boot camp. It teaches your system. If there's no sugar, don't panic, just use fat. The result? You become more resilient, focused, and free from food dependency every 2-3 hours. 6. More mitochondria. More power plants. Per cell. Mitochondria are the energy factories inside your cells. Research shows OMAD and intermittent fasting can increase mitochondria by 20-40%. More mitochondria equals better fat burning equals more energy equals a higher performance version of you. A happy cell is a cell with more mitochondria. And a happy you is someone who doesn't crash at 3 p.m. anymore. So now you understand why OMAD isn't just about skipping breakfast. It's about reprogramming how your body uses fuel. But here comes the million-dollar question. Can you really get enough nutrients in just one meal a day? Will you feel full or fall flat? Hold tight, that's what we're unpacking next. If you've always thought eating less equals feeling starved, OMAD is here to blow your mind. One meal a day, and yet you feel full for hours. Your body burns fat quietly, and your hormones are finally singing in harmony. Here's the thing. Every time you eat, your body releases insulin, the strict manager of energy. His job? Lock every extra calorie into storage, aka fat. Eat frequently, insulin stays high. And high insulin blocks your fat-burning hormones, like hormone-sensitive lipase, from even showing up to work. But OMAD changes the game. One insulin spike, and then 23 glorious hours of fat-burning freedom. It's like your body throws a private bonfire for all the old fat you've been hoarding since last year. Now let's talk about satiety. That one big meal, packed with protein and fiber, activates your fullness hormones, GLP-1 and CCK, and they head straight to your brain to declare, we're good. These hormones cancel your snack cravings and keep you feeling full well into the next day. And when your stomach gets a proper stretch from a single solid meal, your digestive system says, okay, we've got enough. Ghrelin, the hunger hormone, stops ringing like a fire alarm every three hours. Here's the magic. The fewer meals you eat, the less hungry you become. Not because you've become a self-control ninja, but because your body has stopped making irrational snack demands and your hormones are finally playing the same tune. Meet David, a three five-year-old teacher. He's not a gym rat. He's not a clean eating evangelist. No grilled chicken breast or sad oatmeal bowls here. Instead, pizza, burgers, hot dogs, cheesy pasta, and still managed to lose 45 pounds in just six months. Nope, it's not magic. David simply did one thing. He ate all of that in one single hour per day. The rest? He fasted. 23 hours of metabolic silence. Here's the kicker. David didn't restrict his food choices. He restricted his eating time. OMAD, one meal a day, doesn't force you to cut carbs, sugar, or joy from your life. You just compress your eating window and let your body take a metabolic vacation the rest of the time. When your meals are condensed into one sitting, your body doesn't get a chance to spike insulin over and over all day long. The result? Fat gets unlocked and burned continuously. And the best part? You don't even feel hungry. Because that one meal was satisfying enough to keep your body and soul happy. Even better, once you realize pizza isn't the enemy, you stop battling food and start building a smarter, saner relationship with nutrition. David didn't just lose weight. He lowered his cholesterol, boosted his energy, got clearer skin, slept like a baby, all while enjoying his favorite foods. OMAD proves 
You don't need to be perfect, just strategic. No crash diets. No flavorless misery. Just understanding how your body works and turning your biological clock into a free personal trainer. During the first week of OMAD, you might find yourself becoming a food poet. Every smell suddenly feels profound. A slice of toast brings back memories of a happier time. You're not hungry, you're missing food. And the main culprit is ghrelin, the hormone of mealtime nostalgia. Ghrelin doesn't mean you're truly starving. It's a signal sent by habit. If you've been eating breakfast at 7 a.m. for the past 20 years, ghrelin will scream at that hour whether you actually need food or not. But don't worry, ghrelin can be retrained. After 10, 14 days of sticking to OMAD, your body starts reprogramming its hormonal schedule. Ghrelin stops yelling every morning. It becomes more polite, speaks softly, and sometimes goes silent altogether. Many people even report that they forget to eat, not because they're too busy, but because they're just not hungry anymore. The craving disappears like a toxic friend who finally blocked you back. Why does this happen? Because your body has now switched to efficient fat burning, like a hybrid car that no longer needs constant refueling. Ketones, the fuel derived from fat, begin powering your brain, making you alert, focused, and not thinking about food anymore. So, if you're struggling during that first week, take a deep breath. It's just your brain not syncing with your new schedule yet. Once your ghrelin levels adapt, you'll stop chasing the hunger signal and start responding to your body's call for optimized living. You might think only coffee can wake you up. But enter ketones, the brain's biofuel that your body starts producing when you haven't eaten for 20 hours. During fasting, as glucose runs low, your body switches to burning fat, which produces ketones, a super clean energy source for the brain. And here's where the magic begins. Ketones burn smooth and clean. Unlike glucose, which burns hot, fast, and leaves behind inflammatory debris, ketones burn evenly, coolly, and calmly. The result? Less brain fog, better focus, and mental clarity that feels like switching on LED lights in your head. You'll notice it. Tasks get easier. Ideas flow more freely, and you stop typing your password wrong three times before logging into your email. This isn't magic. It's evolutionary biology. When food is scarce, the brain doesn't panic. It upgrades. During this process, ketones also increase levels of BDNF, a brain protein that supports neuron repair and growth. In short, when you stop eating like a clock and start eating like a clever caveman, your brain runs like the Pro Max version of itself. Think fasting is just for weight loss? Think again. When you fast for over 16 hours, your body doesn't just feel hungry, it starts cleaning house. This magical process is called autophagy, which literally means self-eating in Greek. But don't worry, it's smart eating. Your body recycles old, damaged, or malfunctioning cells to protect the healthy ones. Just like you declutter your closet to make room for new clothes, your body clears out cellular junk to rebuild with fresh materials. The result? Reduced inflammation, anti-aging effects, and increased longevity. This isn't just wellness folklore. In 2016, Dr. Yoshinori Osumi won the Nobel Prize in Physiology for discovering autophagy, proving it's a built-in repair mechanism vital to our survival. And the best part? You don't need a lab or a pill. All you need is to let your belly rumble for about 16 hours, and inside, a full-blown cellular cleanup crew kicks into action. Bottom line, every fasting hour isn't deprivation. It's a chance for your body to repair, rejuvenate, and slow the aging clock. Who says fasting is suffering? It's the best internal spa your body could ever ask for. Don't think OMAD is just about burning fat. It's also a time and money saving life strategy perfect for anyone who hates doing dishes, traffic jammed grocery trips, or looking at their monthly food bills with horror. One meal a day equals one cook, one clean, one grocery run. No more, what should I eat again? Panic three times a day. No more mealtime chaos dominating your calendar. Let's do the math. Three meals a day, seven days a week, that's 21 times you're stuck cooking and scrubbing. Oh, mad? Just seven. 
light as a breeze. And if you've ever felt like your entire evening disappears into the black hole of cook, eat, clean, collapse, then OMAD is your VIP ticket to biological minimalism. Experts estimate OMAD followers save 10 to 15 hours per week just on food-related tasks. That's almost 60 hours a month, enough to learn a new skill, read, sleep more, or do absolutely nothing. Bottom line, OMAD doesn't just flatten your belly, it declutters your brain, frees your schedule, and saves your wallet. Now, before you dash off to try OMAD after hearing all the metabolic magic, it's time for a reality check, like lifting weights or hiking mountains. The bigger the promise, the more important it is to know the risks. OMAD is no exception. First, imagine squeezing all your daily meals into one mega dinner. Your body isn't a garbage compactor. Your digestive system has limits. Eating too much in one sitting can lead to bloating, indigestion, acid reflux, and even nausea or shortness of breath. This isn't the joyful kind of full, it's the overloaded kind. Second, OMAD doesn't mean eat whatever. You've got one hour to fuel your body with enough protein, fiber, vitamins, minerals, and calories to survive the next 23 hours. If you don't plan wisely, you could end up severely nutrient deficient. And no, a donut doesn't count as a balanced dinner. Third, for people with a history of eating disorders, OMAD can be risky. The strict time window may trigger guilt, anxiety, or disordered cycles of binging and restricting. If you have a sensitive relationship with food, OMAD should be approached with medical guidance or not at all. And lastly, pregnant women, elderly individuals, children, and those with serious medical conditions should avoid OMAD entirely. This isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. OMAD is a tool, like any powerful tool. It needs to be used by the right person, in the right context. Picture this. You're at a birthday party. Candles flickering, cake being passed around, and you politely decline. Thanks, I'm on OMAD. Cue the stairs. As if you just announced you're joining a cult that eats sunlight. Yes. OMAD isn't just between you and your stomach. It's between you and society. Food is social. It's how we bond, celebrate, and connect. Skipping company lunches, family dinners, or casual snack chats can feel isolating. But here's the good news. OMAD can be flexible. You don't have to eat at the same time every single day. Got a special event? Eat lunch instead of dinner. Then return to your usual rhythm the next day. This doesn't erase all the benefits. In fact, if you maintain a short eating window, say, four to six hours, your body still gets many of the metabolic perks. There's even a real-life version called Social OMAD, where you do dinner four nights a week and lunch on the others depending on your schedule. The key is sustainability. OMAD isn't a strict religion, it's a strategy to master hunger, not to let hunger master you. OMAD won't turn you into a supermodel overnight. It's not a magic wand that melts fat with good intentions, but it is a powerful biological tool if you know how to wield it. The secret isn't eating less, it's eating with purpose. Once you understand hormone rhythms, energy shifts, and how the body responds to pauses in feeding, you're no longer chasing diets. You're rewiring your operating system. That said, OMAD isn't for everyone. Everybody is a complex machine with a different history. Listen to yours. Start slowly. Don't sacrifice health for a smaller number on a scale. Prioritize nutrient density, restful sleep, and a calm mind. OMAD isn't a race, it's a return. A return to your original biological blueprint, where food isn't an obsession, but an art of balancing need and awareness. So, are you ready? Subscribe to this channel and share this video with anyone lost in a sea of diet confusion. Because sometimes, what you need isn't more food, but more wisdom.